Hello YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today I have a Matac Systems FC405 CTR flight controller. And then, and it comes packed like this from Banggood. So let's check what's in this bag. I think I will need a knife to open it now. It's just glued with sticker and inside should I cut it now what do we have inside there's something more nothing more this is board itself and we're gonna I'm going to talk about that a little bit more just to take it out so this is the board itself I'll explain everything this is the protection for your board so if you wanna put something above like receiver or something it protects the board capacitor that's really nice addition for filtering the voltage and this is interesting these are shock absorbers but they are made from silicone so these shock absorbers let me take one they are very small and very very soft but they are really nice addition they are, high, they are hard to find and you have uh, six of them so just in case you lose one or two you always have a spare that's the good point so what, what to say about this board well as you can see these holes are 30.5 millimeters distance and they are a little bit bigger why because of these silicon shock absorbers so you what you have to do is to put in each hole one silicon absorber like this let me try it might be a little bit difficult but one side of the absorber is curved so actually it's maybe better if I use the screwdriver or something to put it in the in the hole and then through that silicon absorber you use your mounting plastic mounting screws okay I won't do it like this right now not for the purpose of this review so what can we say about this board? Uh, it is Betaflight 3.3 OSD. It has a uh, MPU 6000 accelerometer in gyro, so it's not the fastest one. Uh, I mean, if you use the newer MPU, then you can uh, actually need to take precautions and more care about balancing your props and motors and everything so this one is quite enough for everything interesting thing about this it's that it has a barometer so you have um, altitude all the time and of course on the other side this is SD card slot and it's for black box so let me start with this board and what are advantages i mean you can't miss with this board this board is actually really excellent excellent piece of piece of what can i say flight controller that has everything inside you need uh, these holes a little bit bigger for soldering and that's a good advantage it's much easier to solder wires 
through this. It has a current sensor, you can calibrate it. There is a manual on the official website. And this current sensor can measure up to 120 amps. That's good. OSD is standard. And additional UARTs. So this one has five UART ports. That's good if you want to add, let's say, GPS or some other sensors. You can use those UARTs for those kind of kinds of sensors. Uh, another good thing, since this is actually advanced or premium version of uh, 405, uh, it is capable of upgrades, so you can be sure that this board will, in the future, will be enough for all your needs. One other thing is that it supports iNav, so if you're using iNav, you can use it with this board. So what I said, you really can't miss anything with this flight controller. It will work on any quadcopter, any type of quad quadcopter and even on RC plane. There is a manual on official site, you can download it, see the wiring, everything, how should you connect it and how to set up your beta flight for flying RC plane. And of course you have great support on the site. So this is all in one solution, as I can say. It has a power distribution board on it. You have a five volt output for your camera and uh, it supports and receiver and it supports up to two amps of current. So this is really, really good thing. You don't need power distribution board for this. They've made it very clearly and uh, you can be sure that there will be no interference or anything that will uh, disturb your video quality or anything else and of course there is capacitor so with this capacitor you solder it on this on this side with the battery and it will help you reduce even more interference in the voltage and in the current and finally it is capable uh, for voltage from 2 to 6s lipo batteries so that's it excellent board excellent capabilities i will not go into configuration of beta flight uh, uh, and uh, connection between ESCs or 4-in-1 ESC it's all explained on the official site with pictures very clearly how to set up any type of quadcopter or RC aeroplane or add any other sensors what you should what should you uh, do in the beta flight how to configure beta flight for each of these sensors all is well documented link to this product is in video description and there you can find the link to the manual on the official site excellent board many many capabilities i just love it how clear and clean this board is made and of course barometer is one great addition you have a lot of data on the osd and it just works fine thanks for watching and see you next time bye